Plan for changes to your org. So we are going to discuss about org development model. Previously, we talked about using change set to develop and then deploy the changes from your sandboxes onto your production org. But now we are going to talk about org development model. What is org development model? What's the difference? So this is key. So with org development model, the key is you have multiple developers. Like for example, there is Jane, there is Mary, there is Jimmy, and there is Greg. And all of us wants to develop the same project at the same time, but developing different pieces of the project, right? So you can imagine that you, we can't use the chain set development model without slowing us down. So how does this work, org development? So basically, it's the same sandboxes that we are using. We will use the developer sandbox for development. So one developer is developing in their own developer sandbox and the second one in her own developer sandbox, the third one on her own developer sandbox and then they all deploy, so to speak, to the developer pro sandbox. So everybody's uh, pieces is combined here, okay? And then um, you, are, you will also be using the source control repository using GitHub and Git. So everybody um, deploy to the same repository and then you will use the sales for CLI to convert the source codes deployed on here onto the metadata API and then you deploy it. You deploy it onto the sandboxes, test it and then you deploy it to the other sandbox, the partial sandbox, test it and then you deploy it to the production, full sandbox and then production. So basically, the main difference is a lot of people is developing little pieces of the same projects, different pieces, and then combining it together. So everybody's sources is going to be deployed here on the build release um, sandbox and from here, you are going to convert the, the source code onto a metadata API, and then you deploy it, deploy it, deploy it, boom. Bob is your uncle. <laughs> so manage change like a boss. The org development model, we will be using the Salesforce DX project. So we have uh, the Salesforce um, Visual Studio Code, we will use that tool and then we will also use uh, Git, GitHub for the source control system and then once you're done you can deploy the artifact. This will make much more sense when you get hands on. Right now it's just talk, 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 right? Sometimes it doesn't make sense, it doesn't click in your head yet until you actually go hands on and develop something and you know, oh, now you know, now, you, now it works. So it's better to actually go hands on, which we will do a bit later. And I will also do a full blown real project development, some simple application using this um, org development model because the chain set is really simple and straightforward. But this is the real deal where multiple developers can interact with each other, right? and manage our source code using git, github, and then deploy it and we'll see how the whole flow works. So please feel free to read through this. And so the tool you will have, um, you will have these tools, the Salesforce CLI, please go ahead and install that. And then the VS code and all the extensions for it 
and then you will need to install Git and then set up Git and GitHub account. So we've also done quick start uh, Visual Studio Code for Salesforce development, remember? So if I click this, we've done this. So it's all checked because we've done this together. If you forgot, please revert back to the this trail or this module that we've done previously. So basically, that's pretty much it. And we will do the quiz and do the next section together, which is a whole lot of installation and stuff. Still not real project development, so it's still kind of abstract until you actually go hands on and do a little bit of a real project, uh, which we will do uh, sometime later. So the org development model uses packages to move uh, metadata between environments requires that you develop all customization in your sandbox externalize changes in a source control repository to keep environment in sync use a, co a source control repository so developers don't have to track changes manually hmm it's a bit tricky I think I like see externalized changes in source control repository to keep environments in sync. What is one benefit of using source control system with the org development model? It allows developers to work on the same set of files at the same time. Yeah, that makes sense. You no longer need to track changes. You still need to track changes. It provides snapshot. A specific no the main advantage I think is this one it allows developers to work on the same set of files at the same time right let's do that boom bada bing bada boom even my dog is happy about that hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom